Today, it takes more than a well-marbled steak to catch the eye of the average beef shopper. Today's consumer is one that's hit with uh, a variety of messages at a very, very fast pace. And as you can imagine, even as you go out yourself to the meat case to look at what you're going to purchase in some of those different claims, it's hard to cut through the clutter. Even though they're flooded with marketing messages and information, data shows consumers only crave more. As we looked at some of the research coming out of the Power of Meat study that was done over this past year, it indicates that consumers are, have continual interest in wanting to know more, wanting to know more about the labels that they're seeing in the stores, wanting to know more about how their food is raised, how their meat is raised. And so I think that's a, a good opportunity for us to look across the category. As we look specifically at certified Angus beef brands, um, I would say that our sales and our consumers are mirroring what we're also seeing there. So today about 98% of our consumers are choosing our traditional beef, but we still have a, a small percentage that are looking to our natural product as well as our certified Angus beef brand prime. Um, that's no different than what they found in the Power of Meat study that indicated that some of these labels um, are of interest to the consumers, but there's still, a, there's still a small section of what's being offered and what consumers are still willing to pay that dollar for. Is today's consumer really that different from the beef eaters of yesterday? Today, consumers are really looking for a different kind of value proposition than I would say that they've looked for in the past five years, even in 10 years. Um, today, they're still wanting that quality promise and something that our brand has been known to deliver for a really long time. Um, but they're also looking for a brand or products that have another value proposition, really looking at bringing more of that emotion into the, the purchasing of the products that they're choosing to serve to their family. Brewer says ownership by the American Angus Association is a unique position that allows for creative storytelling, helping consumers feel good about the brand they choose at the meat case. I think that's a great opportunity, especially as, as we as a brand and the entire beef community continue to look at how we can engage that consumer in simply just opening our doors and talking more about what we're doing, knowing that their true interest is learning more about the beef and knowing that what they're putting on the table is safe and wholesome. While a brand with shared values that can connect in a digital world is vital, the most important part of a beef buying decision is still flavor. Their top priority is taste. There's no doubt in my mind. So you look at all of the generations and what really continues to bring them back to the table, and that's they want a product that tastes great and performs great. And so that's exciting as we look across the beef industry, the beef community, and, and can really continue to have that high ground, but look at how we continue to engage that consumer in another way um, so that we can expand their portfolio, their experiences, and offer, um, you know, the tips and tools to make them successful when they're dining out or eating at home. For the people who supply the brand, it all means marbling is still key. But now the story also adds value. I'm Bob Cervera.